Hello YouTubers, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a temperature converter. Okay, so basically you just got to start up a new form. Um, I'm just going to keep this one open for the time being. And basically you make, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six labels. Label um, two of them Fahrenheit, and two Celsius. One Fahrenheit to Celsius and one Celsius to Fahrenheit, as I do here. Um, then you need four text boxes and two buttons. One being a convert button, the other being another convert button. From Fahrenheit to Celsius and Celsius to Fahrenheit. Um, so let's just go ahead and check out the coding for this. Okay. So button one is the the Fahrenheit to Celsius button. Okay, so Xbox 2, which would be this, or not actually, it might be this. Nope, that one's Textbox 2. Okay, so Textbox 2.txt equals, oh yeah, of course. I should have just, okay, wow, well, fail. Textbox 2.txt equals textbox one dot text minus thirty two in parentheses times five over nine in parentheses like so all this code will be in the description okay so button two which would be the convert celsius to fahrenheit button um that would make it textbox four dot text which is this text box um equals textbox three dot text in parentheses times in parentheses nine over five plus thirty two and the thirty two is out of parentheses so these are the two different formulas for celsius to fahrenheit fahrenheit to celsius um, i have a clear button which gets rid of everything in each of these text box and it's right here and that just i put text box one dot clear text box two etc um, and the about button just says made in Visual Studio by 2000, made, made in Visual Studio 2010 by Quinton, or AKA QAJS1. Um, and yeah, that's about it. That's all there is to making a, a temperature converter, which is really quite easy. And let's just go ahead and run this up. So I so I know 77 Fahrenheit is. 25 Celsius, I believe. So let's try this out. Yeah, it's 25, and then if you put 25 in down here, it should do the opposite. Yeah, Fahrenheit is 77, 25. And that's pretty much a simple thing. It's just using basic arithmetic to... Those are just the formulas for uh, converting temperature and put in visual basic terms and such. So all this code will be either in the description or in a text file in the description. And hopefully you guys had an easy time following along. Um, here's another look at this, just in case you missed it or something. So thank you for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe if you liked it.